Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 273. The picture that you can see here on page 273. Now we're going to start off on the top where it says that due to decrease in the left ventricular contractility, what all happened? So now we're going to start here and we're going to say that due to a decrease in left ventricular contractility, this would lead to a decrease in cardiac output. So if the ventricle is not contracting properly, that means the flow of blood, the cardiac output, is not sufficient and that's why it shows a decrease in cardiac output. Now when there is decrease in cardiac output, this means there is going to be less blood flowing to the kidneys, which, which makes sense because if the blood is not flowing properly out of the heart, if it's not sufficient, that means everywhere in your body there's going to be less blood flow and therefore in the kidney there's also going to be decrease in blood flow. Now when the kidney detects that there is decrease in blood flow, it causes the activation of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Now that's why you see because of that activation the increase in renin angiotensin aldosterone system here in the picture. Now because of this uh, activation it leads to an increase in renal sodium and water reabsorption therefore because of this reabsorption it would mean that it's trying to conserve you know it's trying to keep more blood in and because of this there would be an increase in venous pressure now because of that increase in venous pressure because you have more volume because of the retention of the sodium in the water this would lead to peripheral edema so that's what happens that's how you get to peripheral edema from left ventricular contractility being low now what also happens is due to decrease in left ventricular contractility you would also get a pulmonary venous congestion this leads to pulmonary edema and because of the pulmonary venous congestion this also leads to decrease in right ventricular output and this is another reason why blood would be backed up and that also can cause peripheral edema now coming back to the other side where it talks about the decrease in cardiac output now this also leads to increase in the sympathetic activity that also has an effect on uh, activating the renin angiotensin aldosterone system also increase in sympathetic activity will increase the left ventricular contractility this leads to increase in preload increase in cardiac output and this is the com you know this is how the heart compensates for the decrease in cardiac output to get the cardiac output to be increased with the sympathetic activity um, which is a, a mechanism that our body uses when it detects a decrease in cardiac output in an uh, attempt to increase that cardiac output. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.